guys, my name is Steven, and today we're going to talk about how to connect Move It to your hardware. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a component overview so you know what's coming. I'll go over the resources I've used, and then I will go over the implementation, which will include the launch files as well as the C++ code that you got to write. So the first thing we'll do is we'll look at these components. So we know we've got Move It and we know we've got our hardware and we got to figure out how to get how to fill in the dots between these two things. As you move these sliders, you should of course see the ro robot move as you expect and you should also see that the robot stops at the joint limits described within your URDF file. Uh, there's two things we're going to have. We're going to have a subscriber and a publisher. So beginning with my subscriber, uh, as usual, I'm going to just create a raw subscriber. I can call it whatever I want. I'm going to call it telemetry sub. Now we should see higher velocities, and we definitely do. Um, we also see that our trajectory has, or our profile has changed. I think, you know, if you were to zoom in, you still see that same characteristic. Uh, but proportional to the overall size of the velocity, it's much smaller. Um, it executes the path that's planned, which is obviously really exciting. It's taken me a while to get to this point. Um, now that I'm here, I can finally move on. I want to do some more advanced scanning, maybe using like the Move It Servo library for real-time response, uh, just checking out the different Cartesian planners, and hopefully I can make some pretty cool projects out of this.